Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Soulmates Twin Flames Tarot. This is a general love reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through in this reading may apply to everyone. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates for you and your situation and release the rest to the universe. So let's see what the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What do we need to know? You are the missing piece that makes me whole. And your person is acknowledging here that yes, the two of you do belong together and you are the missing piece in their life, just like they are the missing piece in your life. And when the two of you are together and when you are in this beautiful place of harmony with each other, your person does feel whole. They feel complete when you are with them. And don't you feel more complete in your life when your person is with you? I mean, yes, we are complete souls as we are, but when we have this kind of connection to someone, the kind of connection that you have to your person, you do have this feeling of wholeness, completeness, that you feel like your life is just fully charged with everything that you've always desired and you feel like you can take on the world. You feel motivated, you feel happy, you feel joyful, and your person feels the same way when they are with you, but they are acknowledging here that missing you is definitely something that is weighing very heavy on them and they know they need to do something to get you back into their life so they can feel whole again. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? My life feels perfect with you by my side. Yes. You are the missing piece and their life does feel perfect when you are with them and the two of you fit together like yin and yang, like you're supposed to, divine masculine and divine feminine energies in union. That is the divine perfection of this connection that you have with this person and their life does not feel the same when you're not with them, just like it doesn't feel for you. Do you guys feel complete without your person in your life? You guys watching the reading, don't you have a greater sense of peace, stability, happy and joy when your person is with you? Doesn't your life feel perfect when you are together? Yes, because that is the divine perfection of the universe working for both of you. That divine spark in each of you can acknowledge the divine within the other. And this is what this union with this person is all about. But what they're saying here is, without you, their life is missing something. And they are definitely missing you and your presence in their life. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What do we need to know? We are in each other's lives for a reason. Yes, you are in each other's lives for a reason. And it is not just for this separation and then you each go your separate ways. You do have a destiny to fulfill with each other for this lifetime. But part of that destiny is this separation that you're currently going through with this person. But it's more a preparing time for union. It is more of the time where you are preparing to come together. This separation is at the moment. You are in each other's lives for a reason. And that is for the growth that you are each encountering while you are preparing for union. You weren't truly ready for this connection to reach its fullness when the two of you were together before because more so your person wasn't truly ready. But the real reason why you and this person are in each other's lives is so that you can both experience this relationship with each other. It is not just about the growth that you attain during separation and then each going your separate ways. This is about the two of you coming into union with each other. And that is what it's always been about. You met when you met, so you were aware of each other's presence on the planet. And then you both had to kind of like go through this fire to create this transformation within you. So you were both able to embrace this divinity that is within you, but also so that you could come into union with each other. 
the real reason you are in each other's lives is so you can have an experience for this lifetime, a happy, harmonious, balanced, loving relationship together. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What do we need to know? What does the collective need to hear today? The love we have can get us through anything. Don't you feel that with this person by your side that you can overcome anything that is in your life? Whatever trials and tribulations life throws at you, whatever difficulties, whatever problems, whatever blockages and obstacles that are thrown in your path, that you can get through that with your person? Your person feels the same way here. That's what they're saying. They're saying the love that you have for each other can overcome all of the challenges that life throws at you, no matter what that is, whatever difficulties, whether they are related to your health or related to work problems or job crisis or perhaps even financial difficulties. The love that you have for each other can get you through all of it through everything because when you are together when you are in this place of union you are beyond powerful your person sees that they know that they're acknowledging this and you know that as well your person is getting ready for this union that is what this time of separation is for to prepare and be ready for you and for this connection Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want us to know? I'm ready to cast aside any uncertainty and be open to the possibilities of our connection. If your person had been sort of like on the fence about what this kind of connection was, if you were trying to talk to your person and trying to explain to them that you were soulmates or that you were twin flames, they may not have been ready to acknowledge that. But they are getting ready. They are ready to cast aside uncertainty about what this connection is. This relationship with your person when they return is going to take on a new form. It is going to be very different because this person is getting ready to embrace all of this with you. They're going through their personal and spiritual growth. They're having a greater understanding of themselves, the connection, the universe, and everything that goes with this kind of relationship. They want to be open to the possibilities of this connection with you. They will be willing to talk to you about all of the spiritual stuff that is in this connection when you return to them. They will have an understanding about what soulmates or twin flames are, perhaps even both of them, because they are gaining a greater understanding of this now. Perhaps like you, they have been looking at things online to try and understand why they still have these deep feelings for you, even though you're apart from one another right now. They can't get you off their mind. They can't remove the love that they feel for you from their heart. That is something that's continuing to grow inside of them, just like it is for you. This is what's telling them there's something more happening here. There's something bigger happening here than this relationship. There is a reason why you are in each other's lives and your person is gaining a greater understanding of that during this time that you are preparing for union. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What do we need to know? What does the collective need to know? Wow. Wow. I am fully, I am ready to fully surrender to our connection and embark on our journey together. Okay, this reading definitely has a theme here. Someone is awakening. They are awakening to the spiritual connection. That is what is happening here with this person. They are ready to surrender. And that means they are letting go of their ego, their pride, their doubt, their limiting beliefs their fears, their insecurities, their phobias, anything else that they've been dragging around with them to use as an excuse for not being full on in this relationship with you, they are letting all of that go because they are surrendering to the universe. They are surrendering to their angels and guides and to this connection, to this love, 
but most importantly, they are getting ready to surrender to you and they want to continue this journey together. This is very much about your person acknowledging here that yes, the two of you do have a very deep soul connection to each other and they have a much greater understanding of that now and that is exactly what you needed this person to do because then you will feel validated in your knowledge that you were right all along, not that you need that kind of validation because you know within your soul and that's really all that matters. But if your person was negating this kind of connection by saying soulmates didn't exist, twin flames was a fairy tale or whatever they may have said to you, they are going to retract all of that and tell you that yes, you were right. This is a deep spiritual love that we have for each other that spans across many lifetimes. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? You are a source of strength and inspiration. Your person does see you as someone who has a lot of strength, courage, wisdom, fortitude, confidence and you have always been this source of strength and inspiration for this person you have inspired them to grow to evolve and to change you've encouraged them to grow up you have encouraged them to release all of these things that have been holding them back from this love with you which is why they're saying here i'm ready to surrender you have been this catalyst, this magical, powerful catalyst for this person in their life. And no one else on this entire planet could be that catalyst for this person to change and evolve like you have. You are a source of strength for this person and you have consistently inspired them to be their best to do their best and to live their best life while the two of you were together. And they are replaying all of those conversations where you lifted them up, where you encouraged them, where you raised their self-confidence and self-esteem, because these are the things that your person needs, the inspiration that you have always given this person. They constantly replay and revisit those conversations with you in their mind. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? I want a fresh start. Wow, yes, your person does want a fresh start and they will be so different when they return to you and to this connection because they are casting aside their uncertainty. They're releasing their fears. They're casting aside the things that held them back. All of the emotional wounds that stopped them from being able to be fully connected with you, releasing their doubts, their fears, their phobias, their insecurities, all of that will be something that will be gone when you have this fresh start with your person because they're open now to the possibilities of this connection and they want to continue this journey together. They are surrendering all of this stuff that has held them back, whatever those things have been for your person. All of that will be gone and when your person returns, you will see a significant difference in them because It'll be like this huge weight of negativity and doubt has been lifted from their shoulders because they have constantly thought about the strength and the inspiration you have always given them to live their best life and be their best self and they will return to you authentic and they will speak their truth and they will stay in that truth with you as you rebuild this relationship and have this fresh start with each other. We'll use some tarot cards now and see what else we need to know. What else does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? What does the collective need to know? What is happening here? This is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is a card of transition and change, and this definitely tells us that your person has gone through this place of transition, or they are in the middle of it right now. The Six of Swords is about leaving these things in the past that have prevented your person from being able to be full on and in and committed to this relationship with you. It is about leaving that murky dark stuff that have held them back in the past and moving forward to this 
lighter, brighter future with you. The Six of Swords is also a card of communication. It's a card of technology. So communication can be coming from your person uh, via text, via phone, via email, direct message. So this is also about your person reaching out to communicate with you. But they are leaving these things in the past. All of these uncertainties, anything that held them back, all of that will be gone as they come forward for this fresh start with you. And then this Six of Swords also tells us that this relationship with your person will transition as well to this lighter, brighter place. And leaving all that stuff from the past in the past. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? What do we need to know for this reading today, please? The Nine of Cups. Well, yes. You are the missing piece that makes them whole. Their life is perfect by the, your side. And this Nine of Cups tells us your person is happiest when you are in their life. The Nine of Cups is a card of happiness, joy, stability, feeling as if your person can take on the world because they have this boosted self-confidence and self-esteem that you have always given them through your strength your inspiration, most importantly, your love. The Nine of Cups is about love. Cups belong to the element of water, which is about feelings, love, and emotions. And these Nine Cups are full of love for you. Your person is definitely going to be so much more expressive of their feelings for you as they return for this fresh start. But the Nine of Cups is also the wish card. And the wish has been coming up so much in these readings lately, guys. So throw that wish out to the universe. Ask your angels and guides to bring to you those things that you desire to manifest in your life. And it can be related to this person or it can be about something else that you are trying to create for yourselves as well. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What do we need to know? Temperance. I love this temperance card. It is just boom, boom, beautiful. It has the most interesting colors for this rainbow. And as you know, rainbows are a symbol of hope and a symbol of inspiration. But it also tells us that there's reason to be optimistic about this situation with your person regardless of how it might seem right now. The temperance card always has water that is being poured back and forth between two cups, which resembles the blending of, or symbolizes rather, the blending of your essences, the blending of your souls. That is about divine masculine and divine feminine coming into union. Temperance also tells us that as you rebuild this relationship with your person, it will be rock solid. It will not crack. It will not break and nothing can come to destroy or destruct this connection with your person ever again because they are transforming and changing. They are listening to the universe. They are ready to surrender to the powers that be and they are now open to the possibilities of this connection because they are casting aside anything that has held them back before. No uncertainty, no doubts, no fears. All of that is something that will be kicked into the past and that is where it will stay as you rebuild this relationship with your person. Temperance is also a card of patience. So yes, we have to acknowledge that you have been so very patient with your person, but we have to also consider that patience is unconditional love and unconditional love is patience. Your person will express their appreciation and their love to you for allowing them this time and space that they need to work through their stuff so they can surrender to this connection and you can continue your journey together as it should be. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to tell us? The Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is all about this fresh start. So ding, ding, ding and bingo, boom. Yes, the Ace of Cups is all about a new beginning in love. And it's really going to start on this different foundation with your person. It will begin as love being the cornerstone for this relationship as you come to this fresh start 
with each other. What else does the universe... What else does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? What does the collective need to know? What is happening here, please? And this is the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is someone who moves and grooves and makes things happen. The King of Wands does not sit on their throne for very long. The King of Wands energy is someone who sees what they want and then they go out and get it. And this is going to be the energy of your person coming towards you. The King of Wands comes with a lot of fire. There is a lot of energy that comes with this King of Wands energy. And we have to remember that fire does move and it moves very quickly. And this is going to be the energy of your person coming towards you. The King of Wands is a fire sign. So if you or your person have your sun, moon, or rising in Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, and this is Sagittarius as well, this can be a place of validation that there's a message in this reading for you, but you do not have to be a fire sign for this reading to work. These readings are for all signs. This King of Wands energy is all about going out and getting what they want. And your person has identified what they want in their life. And that is you because you are the missing piece that completes them. And their life is perfect by your side. This is the energy that your person is going to be coming at you with when they are ready to get off this throne and start coming towards you, it will come at you with a big burst of power and a big burst of energy because this King of Wands energy is your person coming at you with everything that they have. They are so attracted to you. They have a lot of passion for you as well, but it is also about the love that is here between you and this person and this spiritual connection because your person is now ready to surrender to this connection and embark upon this journey together. This King of Wands gets it. They understand. But what else is important is all kings take action. And this King of Wands definitely is taking action because kings are fire and wands are fire. So as we already mentioned, fire moves and that is going to be coming at you with a whole lot of force and a whole lot of energy as your person is working their way back to you. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to reveal? What is happening here in this connection? What do we need to know? What does the universe want to tell us, please? What do we need to know? heart fire interesting that we were just talking about fire coming at you with this king of wands energy and that is definitely your person's heart being on fire for you because this is love and this is this connection and this is love and the passion that your person feels for you but also this spiritual connection as well because wands do belong to spirit the things of spirit but this heart fire tells us your person is coming at you with so much energy and so much force that it may sort of like knock you off your feet just a little bit. And your person, again, is so very grateful that you have given them this time and this space that they need for this time out to focus on themselves so they can prepare for this union and they will express this gratitude to you in person as they return but their heart is on fire for you and what they're saying here is they will return to you and the two of you will become one again and at the end of the day it will be worth the wait that you have been through waiting for this person to return. And it may not seem like it right now because you miss them and you want to spend time with them and you long for them and you're ready to get this moving. But this person is saying they will make this wait up to you and that they will do what it takes to restore this balance into this connection, to work for you, to show you that they love you and they will express their love for you definitely through their actions but also through their words so let's see what else we need to know for this reading today please 
What does the universe want to reveal? What does the collective need to know? What do we need to know about this person and this connection? What does the universe want to reveal? What does the collective need to know? Well, here we are again, gratitude and appreciation. This card comes with number 46, and we have a magical unicorn here. And unicorns are magic, and if you believe in magic, you can definitely get your wish fulfilled here. We also have a rainbow, very similar to the rainbow on the temperance card, and this tells us that hope is not lost here. There's still reason to remain optimistic and hopeful that your person is getting it together because this king of wands energy is not someone who fails at anything. They are definitely someone who is determined. They make things happen and get things done, and they will do it in a way that your person has never shown up for you before. But this is gratitude and appreciation. And, you know, I feel that your person is going to express this to you as they return to start this fresh start with you. But also this is for you guys watching the reading. What are you grateful for? What have you expressed your appreciation and gratitude for to the universe? We do have something to be grateful for every day. We can be grateful for a roof over our heads. We can be grateful for air conditioning right now, right guys? Because um, it's hot and steamy everywhere in the northern hemisphere for sure. We can be grateful that we have food to eat. We can be grateful for our families. We can be grateful for our pets. We can be grateful to see a butterfly or to see a butterfly land on a flower. Whatever you are grateful for every day, try to express some gratitude and appreciation to the universe. Because if you are in a low energy and, you know, dealing with these kind of situations, sort of like waiting for this union to happen, it can sometimes rob us of our joy and our happiness, but when we can truly express our gratitude and appreciation to the universe, it can raise our vibration. And that in turn actually will raise the vibration of this connection with your person. Because yes, you mirror each other. And if you are low, your person could feel low. If they are low, you could feel low. That is how these kind of connections work. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a low place, stop and think about what are you grateful for and try to write down three things every day. You can do it in your phone. You can do it in a journal. But something that you are grateful for every day and at the end of the month, look back at that and see how you have raised your vibration. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What do we need to know? I love you. I love you. These are powerful words. This card does not, I don't think this card has come up for one of these readings. These are powerful words. I love you. Now, there is definitely love in this reading because this nine of cups is about love and so is this ace of cups. And this is about your person feeling the love for you. All filled, these nine cups are overflowing with the love this person feels for you. And they will express this love to you if they've kept it locked down because they're open now to the possibilities of this connection. And they know that their life is, well, it kind of sucks without you in it, just like it does for you. Your person knows the two of you belong together. This is part of their journey back to you. They had to have this awakening. They had to listen to the universe. The universe had to come along and tap on their shoulder and wake them up and get them moving. But as your person returns with this King of Wands energy here, they will definitely be moving and grooving their way back to you. They're going to come zooming back to you is the point. So things are going to shift and change here in this connection with your person. And this heart fire is about your person's heart being on fire only for you. They know that the two of you have something special and that it is time now to surrender, completely surrender to this connection and embark on this journey together because that is what this entire waiting period has been about. 
It is about your person rising up and saying, I'm ready to embark on this journey together. Okay, let's get it going and let's get moving. And that's what is happening here. It'll happen at different times for all of you. There's no way that we can determine the timing for a collective reading. But the point is your person is returning. And they are coming out of this dark space where perhaps some of them have been. Perhaps for some they're going through a dark night of the soul. But they are leaving this dark stuff, these things, this baggage, this stuff that has held them down. And you can see right here at the edge of this card, there is a trunk. And that trunk is full of baggage. Your person's leaving that baggage in this past as they transition towards this lighter, brighter future with you. So let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What do we need to know? What does the collective want us to hear? Healing. Well, definitely. Healing is very important. And that is a big it is a big component of this kind of connection. And you guys have been doing your healing while you've been in separation from your person, while you're preparing for union with your person. Healing is part of this journey. Your person is doing this as well. How have you healed? What have you done to help facilitate your healing? Is there something else that you still need to heal within yourself? And this is something that perhaps you can take a moment for a couple of days here and ask yourself that get into your still small voice and ask yourself in your subconscious is there anything that you still need to heal release and let go of because this is about your person on their way back to you and quite frankly you guys need to be ready for them as well but this healing is part of this journey it's what's allowing your person to surrender to this connection Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What do we need to know? Mirroring. Well, yes, and we talked about that a little bit when we talked about that gratitude and appreciation. If you are in a negative space, your person will pick that up. Because you do mirror and reflect these things back to each other. If they are, you could also be in a negative space yourself. Through this mirror, you are able to see those things within you that you need to heal and release and work on. That is part of this journey. And you did reflect back to your person the things within them that they had to heal that they had to address. Perhaps it was low vibration behaviors. Perhaps it was toxic or dysfunctional behaviors. Perhaps it was just that they were in this place of ego and pride all the time and they needed to release that as well. But through this mirror, your person was able to see those things within themselves. And many times it is the dark side that they see that that stuff that they really have to address. So they've had to do shadow work to heal and release this stuff and let it go. But they are healing this stuff that was reflected to them through this mirror. Remember in the beginning, we were talking about what a great catalyst for change you have been in this person's life. Through that mirror, they could see where they needed to heal and where they needed to fix themselves. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today please what does the universe want us to know what does the collective need to hear today please letting go well this is about letting go of control because here it says i'm ready to surrender to our connection and our journey together this is about your person letting go of past issues, releasing things that are no longer serving them, letting go of all the things that have tied them to this past that could be murky, that could be dark. This is about your person releasing all of the things and letting these things go that are no longer a part of their life. But also this letting go is about surrender, isn't it? I surrender to this process. I surrender to this connection. I surrender to the universe and I surrender to love because that is the energy of your person that is coming through in this reading. They are truly letting go of their need to control, of their need to have pride and ego, of their need to be right, of their need to run to ghost, to deny the connection because they are surrendering and they are open to the possibilities for this union. 
What else does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want us to know? Sadness. Well, yes, of course, there is sadness here. For you, for your person, there is that melancholy. And again, if you are sad, your person is more than likely sad as well and vice versa. But this reading started here with this. You are the missing piece that makes me whole and my life is perfect when you are with me. Their life isn't perfect at the moment. They know what they have to do, though, to make their life perfect. And that is make a beeline back to you. And that is what comes with that King of Wands energy. Hurrying up and getting grooving here to find their way back to you so you can have this fresh start. What else do we need to know for this reading today, please? What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to reveal? Divine essence universal intelligence beyond mind and source and this is something that we talked about in the very beginning of this reading this divine spark that is within each of you and as your person is doing this healing and as they are letting go and as they are finding that divine essence within themselves they will be able to acknowledge this divine essence that is within you and this is what ultimately allows the two of you to come into this divine union which this connection has been working towards ever since you and this person first met each other. Your person is surrendering to this divine essence. They're surrendering to the re relationship. They're surrendering to the universe. They are surrendering to what they feel within their soul because they are acknowledging this heart fire is this divine spark that they feel for you. And they know that there is more to this story with the two of you because as it says somewhere down here, there's a reason the two of us met. We're in each other's lives for a reason. And that is very true. And it is all about the union for the two of you. And having this happy, fulfilling, peaceful, tranquil, harmonious relationship where there's a strong foundation of unconditional love, affection, and support for each other. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? Friendship community support and companionship now this is not so much about the situation with your person but i do feel that we have to say something here many times our friends don't understand this kind of connection especially if you have been in this place of preparing for union with this person for quite some time and they may be encouraging you to move on or go out with someone else or put closure on this situation because they don't get it. They don't understand it. Many times when we are on these journeys and we're in this place of no contact and someone is running and ghosting and we know that it's a divine counterpart connection because we just know, right? I mean, you know that within your soul that this is a divine counterpart connection. So trying to get support from family and friends when we are dealing with these kind of situations is probably not something that can happen for most of you out there so what we want to say here is if you need support for this connection with your person join us on the premieres they do happen monday through friday on this channel at 11 a.m eastern time there is a powerful community there and everyone loves and supports and understands and lifts each other up. So if you are in need of some community or some or support, please join us on the premieres on this channel and on our other channel, Crystal Vision 1111, every single day at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal? Genuine authentic, sincere, and true. And we did talk about your person returning, more genuine, more authentic, being sincere and true to you because they want to be real. Your person's not going to return to this connection unless they're ready to be authentic with you because that is what this whole thing, this whole separation part has been about. Finding the divine within them, which is their authentic self, our authentic selves are our spiritual selves, our higher selves, and your person is going to be authentic with you as they return to you 
Absolutely, you'll be able to depend on them. They'll do the work to show you that you can trust them and have faith that they will be there for you day after day, not only showing you how much they love you, but telling you in very loving ways throughout the day, the depth of their love for you. Let's see what else the universe wants us to know. What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to reveal today, please? Fierce. Ooh, yes, fierce, bold, passionate, and brave. And that is how your person sees you. There was this card somewhere down here. You're a source of strength and inspiration. And your person does see you as someone who is fierce, bold, passionate, and brave. And if you have not been feeling this way lately, you guys watching the reading, this is an invitation from the universe to find that, again, find that fierce energy within you. Find that bravery. Find that courage. Be bold. Be outspoken. Have passion for the things in your life that you're doing. And if you're not passionate about something that's happening in your life right now, go and find something to be passionate about. Find that passion and happiness in your life that you need right now, which is why it's important to try to be grateful for something every day. But as well, this tells us that as your person returns, they're going to be fierce. They will be bold. Yes, they will. They'll definitely be passionate. But importantly, most importantly, they will be brave and they will have the courage that they need because this king of wands energy is your person coming at you and that king of wands energy does not lack confidence they are brave they are bold and they are fierce and when your person shows up for you that is the energy that they're going to present to you it may knock you over it may surprise you it may just make you so happy that you want to embrace them and hold on to them forever and that is awesome no matter how you react to it just do it because this person is saying here that without you in their life, they don't feel complete. And they know you have a destiny to fulfill with each other. They are acknowledging that there's unfinished business. They are saying here that they're ready to embrace this connection so that you can continue on this journey together. And they are releasing and letting go of all the things that have held them back from being in this relationship with you because they want this fresh start with you, they feel this great love for you, and their heart is on fire for you. This is your reading for today, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to all of you watching. Have a great day, everyone.